Listen, I think we all can learn something from this video, from this man right here. Listen, I think we all having the same issues, but listen to this man. He's a Gen X, and he's pretty much just waking up to what the world is after working so hard all of his life. It's like he just woke up and realized, like, wow, I've wasted so much time and energy for a country that don't even give a F about us. But check out this man's story time. And listen, I got to let you guys know that this video is a very emotional video. So if you have an issue with dealing with people, you know, watching people cry as they explain themselves, then you might want to, you know, skip this video. But for the rest of us, check out this story, watch it to the end, and let me know what you think in the comment section. Um, I just watched a video from a Gen Xer who feels like she just woke up. How did we get here? I bought it all. I bought a house. I went in the army. I served my country. I'm disabled. I'm trying to get 100% disability because of my pain. And I don't medicate with morphine. I work every day. I have to. At one point in my life, in the not so distant future, I can afford my home with my wife. And now I have two roommates. Like, when only five people have all the money. And they just print it when they want to. And they just send it away to places that they have special interest in. Because this whole world is led by evil fucking corporations that feed us fucking garbage. <laughs> Come on, man. The very first, like, I woke up and saw it all for what the fuck it is. <laughs> I fought for this shit. I believed it. I thought 9-11 was fucking real. <laughs> what a fucking joke, man. You think Baltimore was fucking real? You think that bridge just collapsed like that? And the same motherfucker. And I went in the army because 9 11. The same motherfucker had an insurance policy on a bridge. It randomly got blown to bits by a boat in a fucking building. Has anybody ever thought, yeah, two planes hit those two buildings, but that fucking building just collapsed with no plane hitting it? Meanwhile, passengers like me who want to fight for America take a fucking terrorist act. It was bought by a fucking corporation to do this in the beginning. They crash somewhere else. Maybe that plane was supposed to hit that fucking building and they could explain that one away. <laughs> what has happened to our fucking country? My friend just told me that his good friend is down in Panama. He's like an ex-CIA SF guy, and he's watching people show up in hundreds and hundreds because there's no passport or immigration rules in Ecuador or some shit like that, and they walk the dairy and all the way here, man. This is designed. It is like a fire sale right now. They are fucking printing money, and our whole money system is built on debt. It's a joke. It's the world's greatest Ponzi scheme that they have convinced the masses to just do whatever the fuck they say. I'm a woke motherfucker now, dude. And I am Gen X. And I played in the streets until the fucking lights came on or it was dark. And if you weren't home, they were coming for your ass. And they knew where you <clears> were. <throat> I didn't never had a phone. The internet came about and I was like, fuck that shit. I resisted computers. 
Agnes went to work and exchanged my time for money that they took in tax, 50% of, and sent it elsewhere for evil designs. People, we somehow have silent being okay with our little bubbles that we create. I think that's what Gen Z, do, Gen X does, is create bubbles that make it okay to live. And what we're seeing as part of this waking up is the fact that we can't live in that bubble anymore. And this is why. I'm so fucking fired up. This poor lady has worked her whole life. And her and her husband just admit to the whole world on TikTok that they can't pay their fucking bills. I say we boycott them, and I say we hit them where it hurts. I want everybody that sees this to follow. <sighs> Cancel my clothing subscription or some shit like that. It's the guy on the internet. He's, he's getting real famous, and he's putting graphs on his website of who owns everything. And it's the same fucking people, people. Wise up. The only way that we can take control is to not give them our money. Spend your money at the local car market. Whatever money you have left. Grow a garden. Collect rainwater. Build a fucking generator. Take out a credit card to do it if you have to and quit fucking paying the credit card. Because it's a joke. But get independent, people. It's a movement. And if they can't control us, walk away. Walk away from the system. I hate it. There's only a few places free in the world. Ask her. And I'm not in everybody's bubble right now. I'm in my own, but I feel it because of this fucking app. I've only been on TikTok a week. This is my second fucking video, and I'm fired the fuck up, people. Wake up. Do the right thing. Fight the corporations who own our politicians. Do not let them divide us. We are the same thing. Listen, for all my Gen Xers, don't be afraid to share your experiences in the comment section below or anybody, millenniums, whoever feels like they can have, they have similar stories to what he has. Don't be afraid to share it in the comment section. I will leave you with his description or his tag in my description so that you can follow this man for more updates. Peace out.